Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching. My name is Mila. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel, comment whatever you want and activate the notification bell. So today it's a very exciting video because I bought myself a bag with the money I made myself on YouTube. So uh, in the last few weeks. So I wanted to thank all of my subscribers uh, that support me daily for all your nice comments and everything because without you following me, I wouldn't get any collaborations, I wouldn't get any adsense and so on. I also want to thank my haters because YouTube has this thing like, it's not like Instagram. Instagram, if you block someone, they cannot see what you're doing Whereas YouTube, if you block someone, they cannot like or dislike your video. Well, they will try, but it will not show up. They can comment, but if they are blocked, I will never see the comment, neither will anyone else. But I still get the AdSense when they watch my videos. So I also want to take my, thank my haters for this video. This is just going to be really random and... Uh, I also wanted to thank myself because if I wouldn't be myself, no one would be watching me. And yeah. So first of all, I am going to chat two seconds before I start the unboxing. I wanted to get a brand new classic flap caviar beige bag with gold hardware. I was saving towards that and planning to get that soon. But I always have an eye on eBay and all of the apps where I usually buy vintage items. And I saw a bag that pretty much corresponded to what I wanted and was uh, a lot cheaper. So yeah, I got this bag. Uh, I'm, I'm not exactly sure how much I paid for it, but I know that it was in between a thousand and two thousand dollars with tax, with the Swiss tax. So this bag is uh, my age and guys, like, can I just tell you something? I, how to explain? I don't know what I wanted to say. I just discovered today that I am the least patient person. I was going to wake up, put my, some makeup on and then unbox the bag with you. But I opened it before and I absolutely love it. So here is the bag. So this is actually a bag that is not produced anymore. It is called a, um, a medium, it is called a medium tall. So, okay, let me show the bag and then I'll come over to you. So this is my new Chanel bag. So I think it's literally my age. If I'm not mistaken, it was produced the same year uh, when I take in account the, the date of fabrication. Uh, also, what decided me to like get a second hand rather than a new one, I was just reading loads of forums saying that quality of Chanel has decreased. This one is actually, the gold is gold plated and I wanted the caviar leather, but this is lamb skin leather and lamb skin leather was a lot better quality back in the days because people actually cared about quality over like quantity basically so this bag obviously have some flaws when you buy a second hand bag that is that old 30 years old you have to expect stuff so here as you can see in the back it has marks here and here but it actually doesn't have any scratches the lambskin leather uh, nowadays is known to scratch very, very easily. This came like crazy well packaged, but like mental. So this was into plastic wrap. The, then it was into uh, a sort of like um, paper wrap. Then it was over again with plastic wrap. Then it had bubble wrap and then again plastic wrap. So I took ages to open it this morning. But yeah, I think it is just amazing. It also has a little bit of wear. Okay, guys, if you buy a vintage bag, I know a lot of people are not gonna like what I'm gonna say because it wastes other people's time in your own benefit. But a great way to check if the bag you buy is authentic is to go into a second-hand 
store, like you know, the ones that resell secondhand stuff. And usually they wouldn't take on a fake bag. They would check, they would make sure that it's real. So what I usually do with vintage handbags, I will do a uh, full video about vintage handbags. What I usually do is that I go into a store and I say, look, I'm I want to sell my bag. And then they authenticate it for you. And then you just say, oh, I changed my mind. Or sometimes uh, it happened to me that they proposed me much more money than what I was expecting for a bag. And then I just actually sold the bag. And Okay, so this, this is like, um, it basically has the exact same width as a um, classic flap medium size, but it's just taller. I'm gonna show you how it looks on my body. Oh my God, I have my belly popping. By the way, guys, like I have been to the gym, like nothing fits me and also have been a lot in my fridge. So yeah, this is my new bag. I absolutely love it. So you can wear it like this. You can also wear it like this. And you can wear it cross body. I personally hate to wear bags cross body because it really it's really annoying with my hair. I just like it's okay if I'm wearing a big jumper and my hair up, but otherwise I'm just really not a fan. It doesn't look like this person the person who owned this bag had a lot of usage out of it. And I am just really impressed with the quality. Yeah, as I told you, I'm probably gonna get it re um, restored. So it opens like this. And this color, I think is even more versatile than the black one because I'm gonna buy the black one, the classic flap, black, medium, medium or maybe large in caviar black leather. I will buy this one next, maybe not next, but let's see. So when you open, it looks like that and you have a pocket here that is really quite handy for documents. Usually the vintage Chanel have a horrible mark here. And also how you can tell one of the ways of telling if a um, vintage Chanel is real is uh, simply because if it would be fake and it would be so old, it would never be in this state after 30 years. Um, so then you open and here it is missing an item. Normally it should have a little Chanel thing it doesn't have it. It does not matter. Seriously, I really jumped on the occasion of buying this bag because I saw kind of in similar conditions bags that were that were twice the price of this one. So for me, it was really a no brainer. I put some bubble wrap in it. It's the best way to keep bags in a good condition. And as you can tell, the inside is almost immaculate. It has this little pocket here. Let me see the state of that, I didn't check. Basically, it's full of pockets. It's a very good classic bag. Oh, actually, it has a mark here of nails here. I don't know, guys. I'm so happy. So, yeah. Wait. So, it has also the number of series. It didn't have a dust bag or a receipt. Oh yeah, did I tell you that the person that actually bought this bag like 30 years ago bought it for $200? So I basically paid for a second-hand bag. Wait, I'm not very good at math. Seven, eight times more. Yes, yeah, seven to eight times more than the original price it was sold at brand new guys at the end of the day i am really really happy with my bag this bag new or similar because obviously this one doesn't exist anymore would have cost me around six thousand dollars if i'm not mistaken and this one did not cost me this price and i still have a vintage beautiful bag i absolutely love it and yeah, I think that vintage is the way to go with Chanel because from what I'm hearing, the quality, as I already told it probably 200 million times, decreased over 
time. I see myself wearing this with absolutely everything. Nighttime, daytime, it is a good size. It is not too big, not too small. I just absolutely love it. I'm sorry if I have belly fat popping out. But yeah, guys, so this is a bag that I got thanks to YouTube. And I'm really happy to be on YouTube. And thank you so much. I'm super happy with my new buy. You know, guys, I am the kind of person that not everyone understands like i really hide my happiness like i could receive the, like a car or a house and i'm not even sure i would be like <gasps> because it's it's just not me i'm not really uh excitable or surprisable or whatsoever or if i do is that i really fake it but yeah i i am still really excited but my excitement usually gives me stress so do i like to even be excited i don't know i'm not sure well thank you so much for watching guys i hope this video was not too boring if i um forgot about anything i would put it in the texts so this is my new baby and honestly i think it's my favorite ba handbag so far uh, aesthetically, I absolutely love beige brown handbags because they go with everything. I have quite of a classic plain style. By the way, I'm, I'm annoyed by my nails, so don't even bother in the comments. I, I'm annoyed, I'm just waiting for the glue to loosen up so I can just rip them off and do a classy red. So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, activate the notification bell, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!